Hello, so back for another video of what we would use in training again. So this is another range I have been very, very loyal to. I remember getting introduced to this at college and also then again when I worked in a salon. So when you come to doing nails, maybe you are not interested in doing gel or acrylic or you can't use them. Then we have Back Scratchers Fiberglass Silk Wrap System. So this was originally from, I believe, um, in the sort of southern um, area of America, like sort of like Texas area. Um, there was a gentleman who was listening to all the nail techs having problems with skin and using acrylic and using gel. And because he was an engineer and he was working with boats, then it was like, well, why can't we create something different to go on a nail? So we have back scratchers, thin. You will not believe how thin the nails are. They're so thin, but they're so strong. And when you get the knack after training of what products are in your hand and things going on, you'd be amazed at how quickly you can work. So what I do love about this range, it has your complete starter kit. You do not need to get anything else. It's all here for you. There are a couple of products that I tend to sort of use too much of, shall we say, um, which isn't necessary, but it's just, I think, me. Then, yes, there are going to be things you need to top up on. So let's dive straight in on what we're going to do. So, for example, um, when it comes to doing the actual nails, you have all of these cool names. So, Stripper, we have Sticker, we have Kicker. I just love all of these names. They're so cute. So, they have their own um, non-acetone polish remover product. The one product I am completely out of, and I really do need to get some more, and I don't think I've got any in this packaging, but I will bring it up when we go through the um, dip acrylic, is their hand wash. I cannot get over this hand washer, it's amazing. So look, we'll save that to later. We have our tips in here, but you're gonna be going, why she got a safety pin in here? And the reason being, is when I'm using my brush on sticker or when I'm using this particular sticker, if I haven't wiped the nib enough, then I use a little needle, I wipe it with the cleaner or the acetone, and then I use a needle to actually make the hole again. That is where I need to practice. That's my weakness, is when I'm using um, these products, I find it incredibly challenging wiping. We've used our tips with the actual sticker and kicker. So you prepped the nail plate, you'll grab your tip, you'll put some of the sticker on, you'll spray it with the kicker, and then you'll use that to stick your tips on. Genius, no more nail glue, very happy. I love these septifiles um, if you are very conscious about, I don't reuse nail files, I tend to give them to my clients afterwards. But some of these um, four-way buffers are fantastic to retail out to your clients. But the septifile is so easy to use with cleaning because you stick it on, as I call it, the wand. Okay, so you can use them on, do all of your work. I've got tiny hands, so I find this quite big, but I tend to sort of hold it that way instead. But these are one-use nail files. Fantastic. Then going back to um, the other products we have, so I keep mine in a little bag like this because I'm just so tired of anything getting in there. I don't want any um, debris in there. I don't want any oils on the fiberglass and silk wrap. And I always write on the back what's what just in case I pick up the wrong one. So with these, we would cut them out over the prepped nail with a tip on or without. We cut them out, we apply our sticker, we then activate it with the kicker and we do a couple of layers. So that we'll have one strip of fiberglass or silk wrap going on. We then cure that with a layer of sticker kicker, sticker kicker, sticker kicker. Just profile the shape, 
and one final coat of sticker kicker and then go on how you want to. I love this for people who don't like gel and acrylic. And as you can see, it's all in here. I don't need to panic. I still keep the little bottle because I find it's easy on my hands, but there are larger ones, okay? So when you come and do your training with me, we can either do conversion courses, um, we can do beginners, we can do advanced because what I can show you is how to make nails using fiberglass without a tip as well. Yes, we can create nails without tips, definitely.